Hey guys, welcome back to Help Tech. I'm your host Tangent, and in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to get OpenRCT2. This modification has been made for Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, and with that said, you are going to need an actual copy of the game to make this modification work. Now, if you don't have one, don't worry. I have uploaded a video last week on how to get Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 for free. I purposely did that video last week so we could do this video for you guys today with basically no problems whatsoever. So if you guys need the game, click on the link down in the description box below. It'll take you over to that video over there. Please note that is a all DLC included version and it will definitely work with this version. So anyway, if you go down in the description box below, you'll find a second link that'll take you to this page right here. Say download the latest release. Now this particular modification is being updated on a pretty good day's basis. So I would highly recommend to come here at least once a month to what I'm seeing right here to see if the game is basically updated. Check out a future video in the future to how to update this modification with ease. But hit this switch right here and you're going to go into this particular, um, depending on, actually maybe I should rephrase that, depending on what your computer type is, uh, Windows 86 or Windows 64, uh, most of you guys should be the 64 version, but if you're not, and if you're not sure if your computer is a 64 version, click on the link at the top of your guys' screen or another video link down in the description box below to head over to a video to figure that one out. My computer is a 64-bit, so I'm going to click right here. My computer is going to install this, and it shouldn't take that long. It's not really that big. Uh, maybe I should talk about what this modification brings now. Uh, this modification ends up bringing the ability to basically go online, bug fixes, and doing some stuff with some coasters that you really shouldn't be able to do, but it's going to make the game a lot more fun. Uh, the other things, too, is like, putting big power launches, bringing new roller coaster designs in. This modification is being heavily worked on, like I said, and it really shows when we go into it. So when you click on that, you're going to say yes to allow Windows to open it. You're going to hit next here. You're going to hit agree. You're going to say next. This is where I'm going to change this. My game is located in my M folder. So that's what I'm going to change it to. And you'll see right away that it doesn't have that much. You can hit next. You can hit install. All right, I'm not going to enable this yet. Because I want to just basically open OBS. So anyway, we're going to click on the link. And some of you guys may get prompted to go find the game. If that's the case, just basically go into your folder Figure out where Roller Coaster Tycoon is and locate it. But it looks like mine managed to find it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video for today. If you guys want to show me some love, hit the thumbs up button or you can hit the down button if it doesn't really, if this video didn't help you. But I assume it is. This video is very simple to do. And if you guys want to help me out as well, hit the subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. And if you guys want to see me playing this game, all you guys have to do is head over to Tangent Plays. I'll leave you guys another link down in the description box below to head over to that. And that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, maybe I should note one more thing before I leave. If it doesn't say open RCT2 at the top of your guys' screen when you launch the game, the modification is not working. Or if you guys go into the online spot and it's not working, that's a pretty good other way to know. Like always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Tangent signing off, and I hope to see you next Friday with another tutorial.